for this segment of the tutorial, I'm going to cover how you can customize your entire tractor layout to look exactly how you want it to look, which is good for, um, you know, DJs because sometimes you don't always want it to look exactly how it, the factory sent it to you. And there might not be using all the features in the interface, and you might only want to use certain ones that, you know, apply to you the most. Um, so right now I've uh, got this page selector, and basically the page selector allows you to insert up to four different pages of detail sections where you can insert different modules. Now right now on page four I have a completely empty module here. Now if I right-click in any of the gray space, then I get a list of all these different functions that I can insert in here. Now we've covered some of these, uh, these functions in different segments of the tutorial. Um, for instance, for my page four, if I want to insert maybe a channel effects processor, I can drop in an effects processor and you know select the deck focus to either be for whatever individual deck I want it to. For instance, this effects processor, I want it to be for deck A. So it turns blue for deck A. Um, other functions that we can drop in there, um, stuff such as you know the BPM editor like we did in beat grids, as well as a uh, loop set so we can go ahead and insert different loop points in different particular parts of the track so it'll just go ahead and run into those loop points. Um, another really cool function in here is the audio recorder. I can actually drop an audio recorder in here and which is a cool thing just to plug real fast because I can actually hit the record button and record all my DJ sets when I'm playing on the fly internally inside the software. That's really cool because whenever you go out you don't have to worry so much about you know setting up a, a recorder for your system you can go ahead and hit the record button and uh, it'll go ahead and record every individual you know DJ set of yours and you can edit the ID3 tags and be able to archive all your sets that you're playing out. Um, other functions that we can drop in there for instance is um, a clock. The clock is a really functional tool, a really uh, helpful tool that we can go ahead and set as a master clock for you know 128 BPM and even do stuff where we can, you know, send uh, a, a MIDI clock out of the system to sync up with other devices like drum machines and stuff like that. Um, also, you know, we can go ahead just to be, you know, more organized. We can insert stuff like um, separators to separate between each individual individual function. And uh, if you click up on this top section right above the detail section. Um, we can insert other stuff like maybe if you want the effects processor to show in the middle of the of the console we can go ahead and insert effects and you can see how we have the effects knobs inside the center of the console as well as um, show mixer channel controls so on so on um, we can even insert uh, deck C and D so you can see the four deck system that way we have all four decks if you're not the type of DJ that uses four decks or effects and all that stuff and you just want a very plain and simple outlook at things where it doesn't look too complicated, we can minimize deck C and D and even take out the detail section of the page. So that way you only have, you know, two decks and your browser, which might be sufficient for whatever DJing you're doing. Um, the other thing that's really cool about Tractor is that you can save multiple layouts. Um, for instance, right now I have a layout where I only have two decks in a browser, and I can name this layout, um, you know, uh, Drum Cell uh, DJ Mix, and then go ahead and set up a different layout for a second layout. And maybe for this layout, I want to do something where I'm doing four decks, you know, a live type situation. I can go ahead and name that layout to be um, Drum Cell Four Decks. That way, whenever I go to a show, different types of shows that I'm doing, if I'm just doing a regular DJ set and it's nothing big, then I can go ahead and switch to my DJ mix set. And if I want to go ahead and do something more innovative and crazy, then I can go to my Drum Cell Four Decks set with effects processors and such and such. Um, you can save as many layouts as you want, and then if you want, you can also assign those layouts to quick command keys that you can just browse through the different layouts as fast as you want in the middle of your set while you're going. So that should conclude the uh, segment on uh, screen layouts.